Welcome back, guys. What I'm building to today, um, I'm kind of just bored, to be honest. I have really nothing else to do. If you guys didn't see my stream yesterday, um, I was just talking about the new COD 2021. It's gonna be called World War II Vanguard, I believe. And, you know, World War II, some people liked it, but some people didn't. And I know the devs made, like, a huge change, like, mid-year for the game. And so then they, like, changed up how, like, the perks worked and everything like that. A really, really big change. Oh, put me on another team, I don't know why. They have a overall V set, what do you mean team balancing? But anyways, as I was saying, the new car is gonna be called World War II Vanguard. Obviously, it's gonna be set in World War II. And you know, World War II, as I said before, was like, you know, some people didn't like it, some people did. It's gonna be made by Sledgehammer, obviously. I'm just wondering if, like, World War II is just gonna be the exact same thing as, you know, Cold War. It's gonna be half fast and, and and not many people are gonna like it, and then, you know, it's just gonna end up being, you know, a dead game in, what, six months, probably? That's just what I'm thinking about already. Mostly people are going back to Modern Warfare because Modern Warfare multiplayer, for some reason, everybody likes it. But yeah, the only thing I'm just worried about is that the game is gonna die out in like, you know, six months, six, five months, seven at most. And you know, not many people are probably gonna like it because, you know, they're either gonna go back to Modern Warfare because of, of that type of playstyle. <laughs> There's so many snipers in this lobby. You suck, oh my god. I know, like, people are gonna be criticizing the game, like, saying, like, oh, I only never, you know, dragons be in the game or whatever. I mean, I understand that, but, I mean, I mean, that's what makes the game fun, you know what I mean? I know, like, uh, Sledgehammer introduced, uh, this one camo, I, I forgot what it was even called. It was, like, uh, a purple, purple camo that you only got when you reach, I think, level 1000. And people were just criticizing it, I mean, who cares, honestly, man? Who cares? Who really does? And I just know that, you know, it's just gonna be, like, kind of, like, the same guns. I'm just hoping that they bring like new guns, not like the same ones, like you know, you got the Tommy gun, PPSH, everything like that. Hope we're introduced like some new guns. You know, it's kind of hard to get a game where like, you know, everybody likes the game and enjoys it. Got an orbital. But yeah, as I said, you know, I hope like you know this game is fun i hope you know there's something special about it just just sledgehammer impress us do something interesting that's all i can say oh yeah also a double xp weekend is here so make sure or not on bo2 but but on cold war so make sure you guys go grind out whatever you guys need to go grind out This man already got an orbital visa. Who? Oh, that guy on top. Anyways, uh, there was also some new maps coming into uh, Cold War. There's like one, I think it was called Mansion. It's a gunfight map. Nothing special. I don't really care about it too much. Uh, there's also another map that's coming. It's called Glova. Basically, one of the outbreak maps. And they said there's gonna be like a 40 player hard point coming. I mean, I just want to see how that works. Imagine just having a gunship and then there's like a hard point with like 20 people on it. Man, this C4 comes in clutch. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Cold War news. Nothing, uh, yeah, nothing really has happened to uh, Warzone at all. Not that I've heard of or seen. Uh, I mean, the zombies did move to downtown. I thought they would go to poor, but I guess not. It's fine. But anyways guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. We'll be doing a stream tomorrow. My hands are just really sore. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys later.